Hi there, my name is Jill Morelli, and this is another Applied Genealogy Institute moment where we have just a quick um, summary of some issue that we perhaps have run into that if uh, our solution can help you, that's all the better. So this time I'd like to actually share my screen and show you how I find the law. And we will get this out of here. There we go. All right. This is how I find the law. Now, I've taken Judy Russell's course, and I think the best thing that's come out is she's done a short video on legacy webinars about how she cheats to find the law. Well, this is how I cheat to find the law. So the first thing I do is I go to the advancing genealogist. Debbie Mazella has a great website where she um, uh, outlines state law by state. And so I find this particularly helpful. It's under Law Library Index. And you can see over on the left-hand side that it's all done by state. So if I'm looking for Illinois law, I can just go straight to Illinois. What's even better about this is that she, on the left-hand side, she gives the year that it was in in enforced. And so then we can see the type of law that we have as a title and description. And then we have the link to the law over there on the left hand, on the right hand side. She does a great job at this. Um, most uh, states are covered now. She's been adding them a little bit at a time, but I would say right now she's getting almost done if she's not already done. The second thing I do is Google it, but you can't just Google any place. You need to go to Google Scholar, and you can see there, you can kind of check what you're looking for. It comes up with Washington courts because I live in the state of Washington, but you can also select the courts. This website is https um, double dot forward slash forward slash scholar dot google dot com. I also use this site for things like uh, scholarly articles and such, and you can see the radial button that you would pick for that. The third thing I do is I use the chat feature of an academic library. When I am really desperate and I cannot figure it out, I go to my academic library. Now, the best thing is if that academic library has a law library associated with it. So this is in the location where, out of the way, right up here is the location where you can see uh, Ask Us. So there's a little trick to asking for the law when you use your academic library. First of all, make sure they have a law library associated with that academic, uh, with that institution. The next second thing is ask between Monday through Friday between eight and five in the time zone of that library. Because what happens is when you click on the general ask us, you'll get a student. That student cannot wait to move that question about the law over to the law library if it's open. Uh, so you get straight to a law librarian and they will be happy to help you. Thanks for listening. And this is an Applied Genealogy Institute. Watch for our classes for this spring and the sign up that will be coming up soon. If you haven't signed up for the mailing list, please do that. Go to Applied Gen dot institute. Thanks a lot for listening.